Princess Jenny with Nursing Geekpedia. So this will be a pregnancy series where I will be discussing about all the pregnancy related vital subjects in each episode. In today's video, I will be talking about how to get pregnant or conceive quickly. Pregnancy it is a complex process where an ovum has to meet up with the sperm to be fertilized and for you to get pregnant. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. If you are hoping to conceive, don't leave it to luck. Know how to get pregnant. First, understand regular or irregular periods and period cycle length. Second, recognize ovulation and no fertile window. And the third one is have well-timed sex. Menstrual cycle is counted from the first day of your period to the first day of your next cycle. Hence, always keep track for a few months in a row to understand if your periods are regular or irregular. If the beginning days of the cycle are the same number of days apart every month, it is considered regular. On the other hand, it is considered irregular if the monthly cycle duration vary month to month. The average cycle is anywhere between 24 to 35 days and it doesn't vary by more than 3 to 4 days. Hence, a woman can better estimate when she is going to ovulate by keeping a track of this information on her calendar. You can also use a variety of apps available. I personally use an app called Flow. Recognizing ovulation. Now what does the ovulation mean? Let us look into this picture. This is female reproductive system where we have a tube-like structure on both the sides and that is called the fallopian tube and we have two ovaries and a uterus. So every month the ovary releases an egg and it travels down the fallopian tube. It stays there for 12 to 24 hours where it has to meet up with the sperm for it to get fertilized and for you to get pregnant. So, usually ovulation takes place 12 to 16 days before your next cycle. So, it is very critical to understand when you are going to ovulate since the fertile window lasts only for 6 days. That is 5 days before ovulation and the ovulation day itself. Therefore, having intercourse during this fertile window period increases your chance of getting pregnant very quickly. Now that we know what ovulation is, but how do we understand that woman is ovulating? So there are certain symptoms a woman may experience while she is ovulating. So always pay attention to your body and observe for the symptoms. Those symptoms are changes in the vaginal discharge. You may see your vaginal discharge stretchy, clear, just like an egg white. You may also experience increased libido breast tenderness and also increase in the basal body temperature. So let us look into this calendar and see how you can calculate your fertile window and the day of ovulation. So most of the women have this 28 days of cycle. So if she is having 28 days of cycle, you subtract 14, 14 days and then you get 14. So on 14th, she is going to ovulate. So the fertile window period for her is 5 days before ovulation. That is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. These 5 days are her fertile window. And the day 14th ovulation itself also is considered fertile window. Now that we know about fertile window period, having sex every other day during this fertile window period Shortly before and after ovulation is the best way for you to get pregnant very quickly. But always remember that you will not use lubricant and also avoid oral sex because it can hinder with sperm's motility. Also, do not be concerned about any kind of sex position for you to get pregnant. It's perfectly fine to experiment and find sex positions that works best for you and for your partner. As you are planning to get pregnant, 
always keep in mind certain things which are very important. Plan and act accordingly. See your doctor as soon as possible so that she can look into your overall health and also you can discuss your pre-existing disorders and also the drugs you are taking. Stop taking birth control pills. Start your folic acid as soon as possible. Cut down your caffeine and also avoid alcohol and smoking. Eat healthy because you need lots of protein, iron, calcium and maintain a healthy weight. Lastly, do not take stress. Stay calm and relax and enjoy the process of motherhood.